On January 4, 1997, the 13-3 Denver Broncos were looking forward to playing the second-year expansion team in the Jacksonville Jaguars in an AFC Divisional Playoff matchup. It all started with a one-yard touchdown run by second-string running back Vaughn Hebron to make it 7-0. The Broncos expanded their lead with an 18-yard touchdown pass from the great John Elway to another legend in Shannon Sharp to make it 12-0 with a missed extra point. Jacksonville then got into action with a 46-yard Mike Hollis field goal to make it 12-3 Broncos. The Jacksonville Jaguars then got an 8-yard run by Natron Means to bring the Denver lead to 2, then got a 42-yarder from Hollis to give the Jags the lead. It would be harder to relinquish as Jacksonville's lead in the second half got even further as they put on a show with a 31-yard Mark Brunel pass to Kian McCardell to make it 20-12 for the underdogs. The Jaguars then added another Hollis field goal, and Denver decided to fight back in the fourth quarter with a two-yard Terrell Davis touchdown run. Davis then took the ball in himself for a two-point conversion to make it 23-20 Jags as they still had a three-point lead. Despite the rallying cry, Duvall was still relentless as Brunel threw a 16-yard beauty to Jaguars legend Jimmy Smith to give Jacksonville a 10-point lead. However, this didn't stop Elway's rally as he threw a 15-yard touchdown pass to Christian McCafferty's father, Ed McCafferty, to make it a three-point deficit. But the Jaguars got the last laugh as Jason Elam's onside kick attempt failed and the Jacksonville Jaguars were able to knee it down for a 30-27 upset over the high and mighty Denver Broncos. This would be John Elway's last playoff loss as he was able to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls the following two seasons. And he used this game as a driving point for future Bronco success as it ended the curse that haunted most of his career. This has been another Turnback Time brought to you by yours truly.